Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. Today we will be looking at the reasons for wearing clothes. One of the main reasons that we wear clothing is for protection. So we are safe to say that clothes protect the body from direct exposure to natural elements. Those natural elements are sunshine, heat, cold, wind, which may otherwise harm the body or make people sick. People in certain jobs wear special clothing to protect their body when they are working. For example, firemen. The firemen wear clothing that protects them from heat and smoke of fires. Workshop and laboratory assistants, they wear coats and aprons over their normal clothing to prevent them from becoming soiled. Another reason for wearing clothing is for self-expression. So in many cultures, people use clothing to express themselves. For this reason, many teenagers like to choose their own style of clothing. As they develop into adulthood, their choice of clothing will still be a way of expressing themselves and their personality. You may find that while your parents are excited about a pair of jeans that they have purchased for you, you do not share the same excitement because the garment is not as trendy and as stylish as you would like. So you would prefer to choose clothing that suits you well or clothing that depict the image that you want people to see you as. Is also a form of decoration. So clothing is often used to improve the physical appearance of people. It is a way of adoring the human body and enhancing physical attraction. When you choose clothing for a special occasion, such as a wedding, you'll probably try to be as glamorous as possible by selecting garments that are stylish, eye-catching, attractive, and will highlight your appearance when it is worn. In many cases, clothing attracts the attention of friends and even sometimes your loved ones. We also wear clothing as a form of identity. So if you look at schools in your community, you will notice that the children who attend those different schools, they wear different uniforms. It makes it easier to identify the children from each school, even without knowing their name or where they live. So people in different professions, such as nursing, the army, and the police service, they are easily identified by their uniform. In addition, person who are, persons who are members of the youth organizations, such as Boy Scouts, Girl Guides, and Red Cross, they usually wear special uniforms that identify them in that group. It is not uncommon in today's society for banks and insurance companies to provide clothing for their employees. In these ways, people wear clothing to identify them as belonging to a specific group. People also wear clothing for ceremonies. So, ceremonial dress is a part of the heritage of people. In, in the Caribbean, people delight in dressing up appropriately for special occasions and functions. So for example, babies wear special outfits for christening, students may wear formal clothing for graduation ceremonies, and people will probably wear expensive outfits to weddings, which are not normally quite different from types of attire that are worn for other religious ceremonies. The final reason that we will be looking at is status. Clothing may be worn to indicate the rank or status that someone holds in a society. For example, lawyers, they wear robes while they're in court and the police officers indicate their rank by wearing special stripes on their uniform. 
they may also wear different colors. So nursing staff in healthcare facilities will indicate their ranks by wearing different colors or they will have a special feature on their uniform. In addition, in business, the managers are dif dressed differently from the machine operators. In these ways, clothing is worn as a status symbol.